Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 53. And today is July the 6th, 2023. Our topic this evening is about the throat chakra. So um, mainly I just want to talk about the, the significance of the throat chakra and the emphasis for, for this is really about clearing the, the, the throat chakra. And I'm really looking forward to this because I am quite sure my throat chakra is, there's a, um, a fair bit of um, distortion and uh, blockage in it. So <clears throat> we will take this opportunity to be in a group so that we can assist each other, pull our energy together to really um, do a good clearing out of our throat chakra. And so before we begin all of that good stuff, let's just do a short meditation um, to bring everybody into the present moment, the presence meditation. So let's take a deep breath in, just breathe in through your nose slowly and deeply. Just breathe through your nose. And just let go when you can breathe in no more. Breathe through your nose again. And then breathe in once more, slowly and deeply. And let go. One more time, breathe in deeply and slowly through your nose. And breathe out completely. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. Each time you breathe in, imagine that you're breathing in pure love, pure love from the universe. And as you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. Let go of all the stress, in your body, just relax. Anything that does not support you in this moment, let it all go. And breathe in pure love from the universe. And allow yourself to just breathe in this way for a few more times. Until you get to the point where your body is relaxed. As your body relaxes, also set the intention to relax your mind as well. No need to think of anything in this moment. Allow your mind to simply be relaxed. When you feel your body and mind at peace and relax, then intentionally call in, call back all of your energy, all of your attention to yourself. We send out our attention to the world outside, to the people 
places and things that we do during the day. And now, call back all of your energy and your attention to yourself. Bring all of that back into yourself in this moment. In this moment, choose to be with yourself completely. Be yourself, be who you are. No need to put on a show for anyone else. You're just here for you. Just be here in this moment. Bring back all of your attention energy. No need to think of the past or the future. Just be in this moment. And let this moment be the most important moment. And allow yourself to pay attention to what it feels like in your body when you have all of your attention and your energy focused on yourself in this moment. What does that feel like in the body? When you are just you in this moment, what does that feel like in your body? Remember that. Feel it in this moment. Allow yourself to get familiar with that feeling in your body. And when you remember, then take a deep breath in. And let it all go and come all the way back into the room. And open your eyes when you are ready. So welcome back. Welcome everybody. We're here to talk about the throat chakra. So let me just turn to my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. So the throat chakra, where is it? In terms of location, it is really at the center of our neck, around the throat area. That's where the chakra is. And our neck is, if you really look at it, is really connects our head with our body. So the, you can think of our head as being the, I would say, the, where we get ideas, where we perceive, where we think. So it is the thought. And our heart is here. So our throat is kind of in between the head and our heart. And because of that, it holds a very um, significant place in our energy field, in how we are able to translate um, the information that we get from the universe and how we translate that into our body so that we can take action and also how our action can affect and create the reality around us. So the throat chakra is um, an important chakra. Not, not that it is more important than the heart, 
it's just it's important in different ways because it is really about um how we process information from outside from the universe for example because we use our eyes to see we um, use our hands to feel things and all of those information is gathered um, the information comes in our brain receive all of those information and we somehow translate that through our throat chakra into what it is um, that we how we receive all of that information is how we actually get a picture of what reality is like outside of us so that's what this throat chakra is about. And when um, this throat chakra is not translating the information that comes into us properly, then we have a distorted um, idea of what reality is. There's a disconnection between outside and inside. The third chakra is really about communication. Communication about outside communicating to us inside and also how we are trying to communicate our thoughts, our um, who we truly are to the outside so that we can create um, the reality that we want to see outside. So, it's also about, it's not just about communication from inside and outside. It's also how we communicate with ourselves as well. So our self-talk is also that. And by communication, I don't mean just speech. It's also about vibration as well. It's also, it's about all sorts of communication because communication is... I think somebody mentioned that um, verbal communication is only about mm, less than 10%, whereas a lot of the other communication actually makes up the rest of the communication. So it's not just about making sound, making using words. It's also about how we feel, how we think, and who we are being. So that's also, that's how we communicate with the outside as well. And um, what else? It's also about authenticity because when you are being who you truly are, then meaning that you are, you have let, let go of all the um, beliefs, and um, misunderstanding from outside and and you get to the part where you um, really know who you are and know what is true for you, what truth is, what truth means for you, and also how um, like really about purifying, purification, being authentic, being true to who you are and true to the truth that is universal. When you, so that's also part of this chakra as well. So the, um, it's not just about communication, also about purification, it's about authenticity. Because it is about um, the heart as well. It's about how communication and also what is in your heart, being able to go um, and communicate with your mind as well. So when there is a any dysfunction in your throat, then it kind of cuts you off. So you don't really know who you are. You don't really um, feel your own truth within yourself. So that is why it is performing that, that function of receiving outside and also being able to use your heart, 
be there, who you truly are, to sort out the information that really is authentic and true for you and let go of the rest so that you, when you become true to yourself, then you can actually start to be able to shape the world around you, not to control other people, but actually just by your own being, by your own frequency and vibration, you actually affect everyone else around you at a very unconscious, subconscious way. And that really is true creation. When you are who you are, then whatever it is that is within you um, will just come out very naturally when there is a when there is no imbalance within you because it's that communication that is both ways. Whatever it is outside is communicating with you and also who you truly are is communicating with the outside world. And that's why um, I think in, in the Bible that says around creation is the word. The word is really the creator being so um, true to the creator genius that all the creator has to do is simply just speak the vibration, speak that word, and the world can just start to be created around. So that really is about the creator side of us. So that's all within the throat chakra. And how do we know when the, the throat chakra is um, blocked? Well, there are certain things that we can see. So um, so we'll talk about the, the physical symptoms of imbalances. Anything to do with the, the throat. Let's say if you um, always have a phlegm in your throat, if you have sore throat uh, or something that happens with your mouth, like um, cold sores in your mouth, or your jaws are not um, like um, TMJ. So, so if you have um, really tight jaws, then something is off. Anything to do with thyroid, your larynx, so neck, throat, and throat, neck area and the mouth area those are any kind of imbalance there that's um will be like it will come out as um illness and in terms of mental symptoms so if you your throat chakra is in excessive meaning overworking then um usually you may, the words you use, the way you speak will be very aggressive and it will be hard for other people to um, be able to take you, your words, because they'd feel mm, attacked. So, um, so gossiping and aggressive, speaking aggressively and um, really more concerned about speaking rather than so you have most likely have poor listening skill because you are trying so much to just spew and, and be aggressive in talking that you really don't give yourself the um, space to listen so that's the more symptom of ex or mental symptoms of excessive in this chakra and what's a deficiency then for example um, speaking inappropriately so you may say something but it will usually be the wrong thing to say um, you may not be able to find the right words to express yourself or if you are shy or if you um find that you are often misunderstood by other people. So those are mental symptoms of deficiency. 
So the main issues for the throat chakra is communication, expression, purification, um, letting go of not what is not yours, what is not true to you. And so also being true to yourself, your word is your bond. So those are really the main issues of the throat chakra. And the element for the throat is ether. So I've kind of um, talked a little bit about what the throat chakra is about. So I just want to get some um, feedback, comments, if there are any questions. So it's mean my chakra blocked. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah. <laughs> I get so throat very easily and like I, I just have a couple of French fries and my throat will be out. And also um I do I get a sore throat quite easily. So it Me too. Sometimes, sometimes it could be just um allergies. So it, it seems like my throat is the the weak point. So wh whatever it is when I feel when I'm out of balance, like first thing is my throat. Yeah. yeah. I would I would feel that in my throat. So <laughs> and also I have sometimes I have problem inside my mouth. It also can happen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I take um I take thyroid medication. Okay. And and I have problem with thyroid as well. I think a lot People have thyroid issues. Sorry. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah. Uh, um, thyroid. So um, I think because of the, 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 the way we are um, in this society, that's why the, the thyroid is or, or throat this this chakra is there's a lot of um, things that are um undermining it for example radiation like being exposed to computer laptop <laughs> and your cell phone radiation is actually affects your thyroid so there's actually quite a bit of environmental um reasons for our thyroid being weak as well so that's why clearing our throat chakra, making sure that we um, take the, the correct or take supplements or um, have food that really nourish our throat chakra, our thyroid. That's really very important. Okay, any other comments, questions before we go on to... And sometimes I speak aggressively. Oh. I, know. Okay. I know that. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just the other way. Um, so I tend to be more shy. So I'm, I'm the, uh, the opposite. So. I air... Sometimes I'm shy, you know, sometimes I'm... You know, it's opposite. Okay. <laughs> yes. I, I like your point, Winnie, about um, how we translate things externally and kind of the connection between the mind and the heart. I, I'd never really sort of thought of those elements being um, related to the throat chakra. So that was interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. That's... It, uh, it, sorry, go ahead. Finish. Vinny, go ahead. Yeah. You were saying something? Oh no, 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 go no. Uh, I, I, um, I was, yeah, you, you you go ahead. I just wanted to say that uh, it's this mantra, the the throat and the solar plexus are the main chakras that get affected with July. And the lady I 
um, talks about crystals. She said, Chrysocola is the crystal to keep with you for the throat. Chrysocola? Chrysocola what, what did you a, say again? It's C-H-R-Y-S-C-O-L-L-A. -L -L I'll put it in the chat. Okay, thanks. Crystals. That's the crystal for this month. Mm -hmm. And so if you carry it around, it helps with the throat chakra. Um, oh, okay. Foods for the throat chakra. So blue foods, for example, um, blueberries. Yeah, and also I think there are there are some um, seaweed that is bluish. So the blue seaweeds. So those are all foods that are good for the the throat chakra. Uh, spirilla. Yeah. It's the blue one. Oh, okay. That's, I'm looking. It's one of my supplements that I take. <laughs> okay. Spirulina. Spirulina. That's it. That's it. Spirulina. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Chris. Chris Cola Crystal. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I've never Please. heard of that. Man, no. Crystal. I, I had not heard till now. What color is it? I never heard about this crystal. Mm. Yeah, I never heard about this crystals. Mm. Interesting. Uh, Learn something new. Yeah. It's uh, it's pink. Uh, it's uh, no, actually, it's a dark mauve color, purple, like uh, with uh, some streaks and of lighter color, in, like whitish yellow. Mm -hmm. um, okay. for the Solar plexus, it was uh, the sulfur quartz crystal. Uh, okay. Okay, thank uh, you for sharing. That's a white with a little yellowish tint to it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have a smell. Sulfur usually would smell very badly. But this one doesn't have any smell. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sorry. sorry to disturb you. No, not at all. No, oh, thank thank you for uh, letting us know about this. What is spiraling? Uh, spirulina. Oh, spirulina, not spiraling. Spirulina. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other um, comments? It's 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 not very tasty, Jackie. Spirulina. <laughs> So <laughs> that's good for you is usually not that tasty. <laughs> I, I put it in my smoothies, but you can also get it in tablet form. So it's better in tablet form. Okay. For capsules. Or, or put it in a smoothie, you know, put put uh, put something tasty like um yeah. strawberries or blueberries to, to, yeah. go, to make it's it easier good. to go down. It's not so uh, bad in smoothies. Jamal Jamal came to our Qigong class yesterday okay. and uh, he was talking about uh, detoxing and he, he says for the last uh, three four months he's been detoxing with moringa he okay. just puts the moringa powder in a glass of uh, distilled water and he drinks that and the alternate day he makes another concoction with uh, ginger black pepper sea salt and drinks that and he was been doing that for a while, and then his he went to the doctor, and the doctor said, "You're doing so great. What are you? Whatever you're doing, you continue." So he was okay. saying that helps him. Uh, it helps him to detox everything. Mm -hmm. It's interesting when we used to be um, on a retreat with Sifu James in Mexico. You remember, uh, Vini? They gave us real moringa seeds. And uh, Sifu said that it's great seeds, but you cannot take it for a long time. You can take it like for the week and then you have to have a break. And then you can use it again. That's Sifu said. Yeah, but maybe the seed is very distinct. So that's why he's alternating. But it was real, real, real seeds, you know, real, I mean... 
that will see the yeah. Yeah. beats yeah. or whatever. <laughs> um, well, I didn't know they were grape seeds. Are they called grape seeds? Moringa? So moringa is a plant. Right? So, yeah, yeah, it's like not it. a grapes. It's like dark seeds. Well, um, I, I, there are many ways to do detox. I think you really have to mm. um, see what goes well with your body. So there is no one right way to no, do it. No, but this is just a new way. I think moringa is coming up a lot in other people's talks. So yeah. It's actually cure your appetite, Moringa. Absorbs the appetite? Huh? Yeah, it's curb your appetite, so you don't want to eat a lot. That's good that you should try it. <laughs> I did. I tried that time, uh, and uh, Sifu said you cannot use it all the time. Okay. Okay. Give it a break and try again. Yeah. yeah, for everything in moderation, then. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Any other comments, questions? If not, then let's uh, let's get ready for the meditation. 